Hello everybody. So I'm going to do something a little bit different today. I'm going to do what is known as a website pterodon. Sounds aggressive and violent. It's not going to be. It's going to be kind and compassionate and gentle. But effectively what I'm doing here is taking a website and looking at some of the things that are wrong with it or that I think are wrong with it and some of the ways that it could be improved. To do that, um, I've chosen a random website. I typed in, uh, I think, Recruitment Agency Kent. So congratulations on the SEO. These guys came up on the first page. And I went down a few of them. A few of them I thought were, were pretty good. No kind of really obvious wins. Um, and then I came to this one and I thought, it's far from terrible, but there are a few little tweaks I think I could probably make to this that uh, could potentially really just add a little bit of professionalism to the to the look and feel and, and the design. So this is going to be a kind of quick short video and uh, so let's see what we can get done in the next five minutes. All right, so it's not very long, um, but let's see what we can do. So from the top, I don't hate this top bar. It's it's kind of fine. Um, what I don't like though is the way the header. So this contact us link isn't left right aligned. I feel like it should be butting over to the right. So I'm just gonna see if I can easily quickly do anything about that. Let me just see what's going on here. So you will float left if I just. Okay, so that gives that a little bit more space. I like it, but it's still not, there's still this awkward gap now. So this is just one of those little things that actually makes a really big difference. So there's all this like padding here, margin right, margin left, it's being pulled. Let me just see what's happening. You can't see the code that I'm looking at. I'm looking at the, the uh, front end CSS code on, on another page. Uh, we're just going to pull that across a little bit. And there's still a gap. Where's that gap coming from? Some of it's coming from there. That's interesting. So if I, I'm just going to remove the padding right. I'm going to say padding right zero. Is that going to pull us a little bit closer? And then the rest of that's actually the button itself. So if you hover over it, you can see that. So I'd probably I'd probably change the hover state, but what I'm going to do for now is just look at that again. As you can see, these are all really small changes, but okay, so it's 15 pixels. So again, I'm just going to grab this. Uh, where did I do that? I did something over here, padding right. I'm going to make that margin. Margin right, let's play with that. Margin right. What if I want minus 15? Is that going to do it for us? It's pretty close. Minus 15. There we go. So we're kind of right aligned. What I'd love to do actually is line that up with the bottom of the word recruitment as well. But I'm just going to leave that just for a minute. Okay, the next thing here is we've got this text shadow, which I don't like at all. There's certain things that are just like, just date things slightly. Text shadow is one. So there we go. No text shadow. I just find that that's actually, the text is a lot clearer now as well. There's That shadow just wasn't doing anything except putting this design back about five years. So I've, I'm, it's gone. I've got rid of it. So the next thing I can see that I'm not a massive fan of is this. Welcome. This is the first thing that people are going to read. That means nothing. It's just like wasted dead space. So what about, uh, let's see what they say about themselves. Successful recruitment agency with an excellent reputation for supplying high caliber personnel. High caliber personnel and I like that. I like that, let me see. Uh, let's see if we can do something with that. Better than welcome anyway, isn't it? So let's get that in there. High caliber personnel and a superior service. Okay, that is not like the best bit of copywriting you'll have ever seen, but hopefully you agree that that is a bit better than it was. And I'm also going to play about with this a bit. Because I think this needs to be, in terms of like a hierarchy, uh, what did I just do? 
I kind of want to do that, but I can't. So I think it was like that size before. I'm going to just go straight into this. So font size, and I'm going to say, I want that to be, I want that to be big. Let's leave it like that for now. But it's all very crowded up here, isn't it? Like it's just, this all needs a bit of space. Let's go margin, um, and we're going to go uh, one M zero. What's that look like? It's all right. Ooh, sorry. Okay, I don't like that as much. So I'm going to go that. I'm going to say two, two at the top, one at the bottom. Okay, that's just giving that a little bit of room to breathe now, isn't it? Um, and again, everything's super squished down here. I actually quite like this section. I like these, um, these boxes with like the rounded iron sharp corners. I think that's kind of nice. Um, but I don't like how cramped it is. And like this new section, I just feel like it needs it needs some room. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna give that a bit of space, maybe a bit more. I like that a lot better. Um, I also think, I mean this, bang, whole load of text to read. Nobody wants to read it all at once. So I don't know if I can do that quickly for you now, but what I would do is break that up into probably a couple of paragraphs. Uh, maybe stick a bit of bold text in there just to make it a bit more scannable. I think that would really, really help. Uh, so like I said, I kind of like the styling here. It's a little bit cluttered, but like generally good. Our recruitment divisions. There's a little point here on, on the language. So our, this is all kind of very like uh, focused on the business. So it's talking about the business a lot. I'm not really talking about the target market and their problems very much. Um, that could just be recruitment divisions. Like, for example, the first thing you're talking about here, established in 1999, is the first thing that people read, like the first bit of body text. Does anybody care like that? Is that the most important bit of information that you can give to someone is when you're established? I understand that it shows like some kind of, uh, that you've been around for a while, uh, that you're not gonna like disappear tomorrow. But come on, there we we can do better. Like, how are you solving pro like problems for your clients? That is what we need to focus on here. Like I say, we don't have enough time to do that right now, but that's something I definitely look at. Over on the right hand side here, we've got latest vacancies. That's good, but this I just don't really like the styling of this. Again, there's this kind of grey gradients with shadows and things. It just looks a little bit dated. So I'm just gonna go in here have a look at where some of this stuff is going on. So just remove that. Let me give a background color, because it's nice that it's like got its own color, but I just didn't like the gradient. I mean, some gradients are cool these days. It seems to be a bit of a trend, but that one wasn't. <laughs> and again, it's one of those things that's so hard to put your finger on why. Oh, that's super light gray. Oh, can I get a little color picker? There we go. Uh, let me go, I mean, I like light greys, but is that too light? Let's get there, let's go with that. And that, ah, that shadow, that shadow, I do not like it. Can I get rid? I can. Oh, so much cleaner, so much nicer. And I've got to do the same with this, because like, Something that just makes something look instantly unprofessional is um, inconsistency. So we've got this button here and now we've got this, hang on, how are they doing that? Oh, there's a background image on the button, that is horrific. Okay, let's let's do something about this. Background color, ah, dear, dear, dear. Okay, background color, let's go bang. So obviously that's not gonna help. So we've gotta go text color white. Uh, color white, where is that being overridden? There, it's white, I've got to get. Um, I'm gonna go text align, center, and the width, I'm gonna like take off that. Text align, why is that being weird? Margin top, oh, so the padding's being weird, that's why. So what if I'm gonna just went 1M? I mean, that's a little bit better than line height, it might be being slightly strange here as well. Uh, oh yeah, the height, so I don't want to define the height. Um, yeah, better, right? Like, surely, surely that's a lot better. Um, I also, that 
it's too high. This whole section is too high. I think it needs to come down below the headline somehow. Um, so I'm just going to kind of fake that for a second. So if I go to margin, margin top, I'm just going to go, what is, what is 100 pixels or something? Um, I like this, I like this. So we can get, I think if we bring it down the kind of same sort of height as the text, give this, give this a bit of room to breathe. That's nice and left aligned. We've removed some of the stuff that dates it a little bit. I would love to sharpen up the logo. It's a little bit, a little bit fuzzy. Um, and maybe give this a little bit more space below. But hopefully that's an improvement. I think it's an improvement. Um, obviously that was only five or 10 minutes or whatever, but it just shows like little, little bits of attention to detail and the difference I can make. I hope React Recruitment are not offended. I hope this is actually potentially useful for them. Thank you for letting me do this, or you didn't let me, but thank, <laughs> thanks for uh, whatever, not suing me. Um, I'd love to do this to more websites because this is really good fun. Um, so if you have a website that you want me to do a quick teardown of, or if you know someone else whose website needs a little bit of love and could do with this, just let me know. Cheers, guys. Bye.